Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning objects and image masking. So without further delay, let's dive right in. Okay, so image and object masking. Let's get straight to it. So um, let's bring in the image that I'll be masking. So I'll go to my explorer and I'll go to desktop. And um, I have a folder for the images that I'll be using tutorial files you can use any image of your choice um i'll be using this and this so i'll drag this into my figma board very lovely all right so we have our image we have our two images um let's work with this one first so let's work with this one first so i'll scan it to increase the size so let me scale this up and um, it's too long so i'll have to crop some parts off of it by changing the field settings here to crop excellent so just reduce it like so very good okay so i can now make this bigger okay so masking this image right here let's bring it into focus we're masking this image right here so let's mask it in a circle so let's draw a perfect circle all right okay so this let me delete the other one i'll import it later so so the tutorial will be a whole lot easier to understand so these are the images that i'll be using for the masking now what happens actually is that we need four like we need the duplicate of the image and the duplicate of the shape and uh, we need to bring the image to the front so these are the two images let's rename this to image and uh, we also need the shape so we need two copies of this but before we duplicate let's ensure these things are aligned properly like so so i'll just scale this up to make it a bit bigger excellent so this is it this is how you arrange it the object that you want to mask has to be at the front and the object that I want to mask it into has to be at the back. As you can see, the image is at the front. The object that we are going to mask the image onto is at the bottom. So let's highlight these two and Ctrl D to duplicate it. So now that we have the duplicate, you see the two images are at the front. So the two images are at the top or in the front of these two objects. So what we'll do right now, we'll take the one image and one shape by holding Shift to highlight those two and then we'll come to this place right here used as mask so the mask has been created and the next thing we'll do now is to come to this image right here the one that is not masked and then we'll hold our control key to crop it so let's change it from scale to move hold control to crop it in you see that you see that it has been masked so if you want to change the color you can change the color from here just click on the circle right here come over here take the pick tool and select the purple color or whatever color you choose and that's how you create a masking in figma so let's just make this a bit fancier let's take a text and let's write let's scale it up to make it a bit bigger This is not necessary. I just feel like doing some fancy stuff. All right. So that's how you do it. Let's, for the purpose of emphasis, let's do another one using the second image. So I'll have to import that image again. Remember, I deleted it earlier. So let's just click and drag it onto our Figma board. But this time around, I'm not going to be using an ellipse. I'm going to be using a blob. So um, just like the other image, let's, this is too long. So let's crop it. Come here. Go to fill, go to crop, and uh, let's crop this like so. Perfect. Now we can make it bigger by scaling it up. Very good. And then I'm going to run my blob plugin, plugins, and uh, let's look for the blob, 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 blobs. Okay. So I'm going to mask this onto a blob. Okay, so let's customize the shape of the blob right here, the complexity, the uniqueness, um, this, okay, 
this should do let's insert this and close okay so let's make the blog a bit bigger by scaling it up okay i'm bringing it over here these are the two objects that i'll be using let's bring it into focus and i remember like i told you earlier the image that you want to mask has to be at the front right now the blob is at the front of the image so let's click on the image and bring it to front very good okay so let's uh, rotate let's rotate the blob a bit like so all right i like this okay so let's uh, align the image over here over here okay and uh, maybe I should make it a bit bigger. Lovely. Okay. A bit bigger like so. Very good. And then um, the next thing I'll do is to duplicate. This is the vector. This is the image. So I'll hold the two of them. And then I'll press Ctrl D to duplicate. And remember the two images has to be in the front. These are the two images that will be masking and these are the two vector shapes and uh, the next thing we need to do remember it has to be one image and one vector the two in the center so let's highlight both and um, let's mask this perfect and then let's go to the image the second image the one that is not masked hold your control let's change this from scale to move hold the control key and uh, cut this in like so perfect and then to change the color like we did the other time we'll click on the vector click on fill i'll uh, take the color picker and uh, let's use this and that is how you create image and object masking in figma thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you're new to my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button leave a like and uh, for those viewers that are not new you've been here before thank you so much for coming back and thank you for watching this video i'm sure you've learned something so until next time see you guys Thank you.